What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at total base props. What we're gonna to do is go over here to all propositions and click on bases. And usually what we'll see over here, we could tab over or under, or you could just look at both. We'll usually see a lot more unders because that's what hits at a higher rate, under one and a half bases. But for some players who are on a roll, we will see they're over one and a half and others will see over zero and a half, which is usually the same thing as just over zero and a half hits. But sometimes for fantasy books, such as prize picks, they only have the basis option. And over here, we could tab both of them. So take it off. So it shows both over and under. We'll see a few players who are hitting this in 10 of their last 10. One of them being Giancarlo Stanton, another Tim Anderson. And let's take a look at Tim Anderson. If we click right here, We'll go over here and we'll see he's only hit this in four of his last 20, but he's missed it in 10 straight games. And he's just been on a very cold streak. Let's take a look at the pitching matchup for him today. He's going to be facing uh, Berea, who has a 2.29 ERA and a 0 0.99 whip. And then we'll take a look at Anderson's batting average on the season. It's only 232 versus right-handed pitchers. It drops to 209. So he does not have an advantage in the pitching. His OPS drops as well. And uh, yeah, he's on a roll for the under a streak, uh, 10 straight games. I think it's a little bit more than 10. It might be 11 or so. But um, yeah, 11 straight games with the under. There's something to consider if you guys want to add that and do a little parlay with under bases, you could. Um, another one that I saw for over is Bo Bichette. Now, these odds are a lot better. Bo Bichette is on a very hot streak right now. Uh, his hits streak, I believe, is 10 plus games, but his over one and a half bases has hit in nine of his last 10. We can take a look at the pitch up, pitching matchup. He's going up against Logan Webb, 3.16 ERA, 1.10 whip. And if we take a look at Toronto versus right handed pitchers, Bo is batting 313 versus righties, which is just slightly lower than a season average because he bats better versus lefties. But 313 is still a very good batting average. We could take a look to see if he's faced Logan Webb before. He has not. And today, I believe he's going to be playing at home. So you take a look at how he's been doing at home. And at home, he's hit this line in four straight games. Um, and then before that, he they had a very long road trip. So in general, he has been hot recently. Uh, four straight home games and uh, I believe three, four, five, six, ten of his last 11 games he's covered over uh, one and a half bases. So if you want to add that as well, just to take him on that streak, you could. And yeah, you could just go through here, look at the different base props. And that's how I like to look at over, um, over and unders on bases. Make sure you guys click over here. It's not available on FanDuel, but it is on DraftKings and Caesars. And best odds right now are plus 185 for both of them combined on DraftKings. And you go ahead. I don't have a DraftKings account myself. <clears throat> but make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, download Outlier to get yourself a seven-day free trial and do all this research yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video.